first of all, congratulations. Um, just kind of your thoughts on uh, being a member of the Diamondbacks organization now. Yeah, I'm super excited to be a part of this team. And I uh, can't wait to get back out there and uh, get to work. Nick McCorrell. Hey, Jordan, could you take us through your, your kind of thought process um, for, for signing versus going to school? Yeah, the whole time, really, it's been Vanderbilt. And uh, just over the time, um, obviously, the Diamondbacks made a great offer. And um, they just kind of showed how much they really wanted me. So that made me really comfortable with this team. And um, that ended up being the final decision. But uh, Vanderbilt's obviously a great program, but I'm ready to get going with the Diamondbacks. Zach Buchanan. Hey, Jordan, congrats. Uh, I cover the team for The Athletic. J just what was it like for you on draft night? Um, you know, it seemed like at the top of the draft, there was less certainty than there is in a lot of years as to who was going to go where. Yeah, obviously, I try to hide most of my emotion uh, most of the time, more even killed. But uh, there's definitely some nerves there. And that uncertainty definitely got to me um, a little bit. But I was at that time when I heard my name and once I got that call, it was really special. And uh, it's a moment I'll never forget. Steve Gilbert. What was your experience like today at the ballpark at, to uh, getting to meet some of the guys? Yeah, it was great. Um, Peralta actually came over, brought me back behind the um, cage for BP. Um, got to meet Cole and um, as Drupal, some of those guys. Uh, so it was kind of cool to learn from them in a little bit I had. Um, but just to see the balls come off their bats and kind of be in that stadium right there with them. Uh, it's pretty exciting and it makes me um, excited for the future. Back to you, Nick. Uh, back, back to draft night. Did you um, did you have a sense that it was going to be the Diamondbacks? Like, at what point did you did you know that that was going to be the way it was going to play out? Yeah, it was pretty uncertain up until the last thirty minutes, um, and then the, I knew the top four weren't going to happen. Um, so then we were probably pick four by the time I knew the Diamondbacks um, were going to be the option. Um, Greg got the call, pulled me back. We had a um, brief conversation, and uh, then it was just celebration from there. Walked out. Um, smile on my face and join my family and I uh, got to work. So it was, it was a great moment. Back to you, Zach. Jordan, I know during your senior season, I think maybe Jamie Newberg wrote a story on you where, you know, it was made very clear how committed you were to Vanderbilt. If, if you had told yourself back then that, uh, you know, you would have been choosing to sign and said, would, it, would that have been surprising to you at the time? Uh, I, looking back on it, yes, just the mindset we were in. But obviously, we've talked in extensive conversations with the Diamondbacks. And uh, yeah, I think they've soothed kind of everything I was had questions about. And uh, I'm definitely happy to be here. So um, looking back from high school, maybe I wouldn't be here. But now I'm glad to say I am. What, what kind of things did they did they kind of soothe your what concerns did you have, Jordan? Just um, kind of scheduling and obviously the deal, um, but in different terms we came to, but really just getting to me in the fist system and uh, talking to all the guys at the top. Um, I feel like those conversations and obviously some went through Greg, but um, overall, I feel like just those um, kind of soothed my, uh, whatever I was really feeling. Back to you, Steve. Corey uh, said that you guys had exchanged some text messages over the last few weeks um how was that hearing, hearing from him and, and kind of having a little bit of a back and forth with him how much did that kind of help in your decision making or at least your comfort with with the organization sorry who who'd you say again uh, Tori Lavello oh yes uh yeah uh yeah it was cool to hear from your manager of course uh, reaching out I had a couple of conversations with him and just to see how he thinks especially at the top obviously I'm coming in towards the bottom but uh, you kind of want to know what that um, program is and what he's, his ideas and the different ways he thinks um, I think just kind of getting to know him and knowing how he approaches the team uh, was really important for me. And uh, that also kind of goes into um, the question before about soothing, uh, maybe some of my concerns or anything like that. Go ahead, Zach. Jordan, just what were these last three weeks like between being drafted and, and today, just as you're trying to make your decision, were, is it something like, were you kind of, was there anxiety over which way to go or were you able to kind of, relax and enjoy the time and, and kind of plug away at it piece by piece. What was it like for you? I'd say there's always a little bit of nerves, but I'm a pretty calm person. And really, I got drafted or is either Vanderbilt. So I feel like it was really two good options for me. And uh, I think that's some of the nerves I had 
Um, but I really just try to enjoy it, um, have to spend time with my family and everything you can kind of think of. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, Jordan, how do you kind of see yourself as a, as a player? Um, like what, what do you think your, your strengths are? What kind of, what kind of uh, big leaguer do you want to be? I see myself as an impact player, um, obviously a five tool kind of guy that can hold down um, the shortstop spot in the major leagues. And that's what I look to do uh, once I get out here. But uh, I think I can come in whenever it's time and uh, get the job done and hopefully um, bring this team back to a lot of wins. <laughs> what, uh, what does it mean when you see your name? I, I think on the, on the broadcast, you're probably busy that night, but on the draft, they were comparing you to, to Correa and, and Derek Jeter. What, is, what does that mean? It's special. Those are the guys I look up to and I followed over my whole baseball development. So uh, to hear those names and then especially that side by side with Correa, I think that was special. That was really cool to see. Um, but yeah, it's just the similarities are off the charts and I hope that can uh, I'll turn into exactly what he's done and hopefully more. Is that Correa? Was that is that kind of a coincidental in any way or do you feel like your your swing and your actions are 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 actually truly kind of modeled after him? No, I think for sure. I think it's I've said Correa and Jeter the whole time, and I feel like uh, that really is true. And I'm, from those side by side, I feel like there's definitely some actions that are pretty similar. Zach, Jordan, just who who in the in the league right now, is, or what players did you you know over the last few years have you watched a lot that, that are your favorites? And are there any players on this team right now that you found yourself kind of looking up highlights of or seeing how they've done? Yeah, um, Andrews and Simmons would be one, really, for defensive actions. Correa, I've really always followed. Um, always a big Yankees fan, so kind of some of them judge. Um, but really, just I like to watch Tati, some of the bigger names. Sometimes they're the highlight kind of guys, and I feel like that that's what makes baseball fun to watch. So um, I feel like I'm just a baseball fan at the end of the day, and uh, I've been blessed to be a pretty good baseball player as well. Any other questions for Jordan? Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, Jordan. I mean, obviously, you've been talked about as being a, a high draft pick for a while now. Just at, at what point in your life did did you know that pro ball was going to be in your future? It's hard to say. I feel like there's never really been that one moment, pinpoint moment. I've stepped back and said, "Wow, I could be a major leaguer one day." But I feel like just over the years, I feel like I've somewhat been a step ahead, or my tools have been just a little bit better. And I feel like that's definitely played out um, every time I've uh, stepped on the field.